Hey everybody, welcome back to Defeating Hair Loss. I got my friend Bobby D back with me. Yes, sir. Welcome back, Bobby. Thanks for having me, Steve. Another good hair day. I try to. <laughs> a lot in a row. That's a yeah, lot yeah, of hair days yeah. in a row. Yeah. Is it just when you're with me or is it just all the time? Hopefully it's all the time. <laughs> I think that's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> so welcome back. So tonight we're going to talk about the combination medication specifically that we talk about all the time, mm -hmm. but we've never really broken it down to make it clear to those of you out there that are wondering, well, what is this medication? Where do I get this medication? This, that, and the other thing. So let's just take a step back for one moment, Bobby. When you and I met, and I'll remember that day, <laughs> um, just kidding, you were a little hesitant to use medication. And mm -hmm. you know, because people out there with hair loss are probably going through those same emotions, kind of talk about your initial ideas. Like when I mentioned to you, you gotta get on a medication, mm -hmm. and, you know, tell, tell everybody like how you felt. Yeah, when you told me, I was just, you know, kind of nervous about it, scared, I guess, just from looking online, you see, you know, all the horror stories regarding, you know, finasteride and all that. And so I was kind of just mixed emotions and then you kind of just talked me into it. And, you know, after getting the, the transplant, you know, I was just thinking, I don't want to get another one or if I, have to, or if I lose more hair in the back or something. And so I just took the plunge and haven't looked back since. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, that that's, what would um kind of want a message to everybody is bobby is a younger guy than me obviously <laughs> it's a little and <laughs> he's got the better you know skill set to use that internet and i'm not too afraid to admit it <laughs> sometimes that works against us uh, i have a really good habit of not using the internet to research certain things because i think i got a little add a little ocd <laughs> I don't want to go down that black hole but that's okay it's better to ask questions in the mm -hmm. beginning so if without putting words in your mouth you got freaked out I did, yeah, um, but but for me it was just you know was it worth the risk, and I didn't want to lose more hair, so I just did it. <laughs> so guys in your age are kind of weighing, and this is what the internet tells them between you know, oh yeah, so some sort of sexual side effect versus mm -hmm. keeping your hair, and you know it, it's a struggle because mm -hmm. I get it, like you're in your mid twenties and you're like, man, you know, like I know when I was in my late teens, I was like, yeah, really, I'm losing my hair, but when it comes down to a choice of you want to continue to have sex or do you want to have your hair? I mean, I guess that's yeah. a little bit of a hard, hard decision. question. <laughs> so I understand. So, you know, the, the medication is very safe. It's very affordable. Um, it's very compelling, very effective, and mm -hmm. it's, it's very easy to use. So I guess the communication tonight is that what I tell everyone, and I probably told mm -hmm. you is that, Hey, listen, reach out to your local doctor, your local, specialist in hair restoration, wherever you live in the world. Not so sure about outside the country on how uh, easy it is to get a hold of the compound medication we talk mm -hmm. about, but definitely in the States, you can get compounded medication. If you don't know where to get it, just let us know and we'll help you out. It's got one milligram of finasteride. It has five milligrams of minoxidil and they throw in a milligram of biotin. Mm -hmm. So none of this stuff is going to hurt you. If it was, I wouldn't be on camera trying to convince you to mm -hmm. use it. Bobby and I have become yeah. pretty good friends. <laughs> I'd say so. And the last thing I want to do is tee off, use that word, <laughs> make someone mad and angry at me that I destroyed their sex life and they're only 28 years old. I mean, that makes zero yeah. sense. I would have hated you, Steve. You would have hated me. <laughs> and I don't blame you. And if I'm out here promoting this stuff, I deserve all of that because that's not fair. And by the way, someone like myself that is in this industry actually benefits from those of you that don't use it because then all you have left is to go for hair transplants and hoping and praying for mother nature to go easy on you so you don't progressively lose hair which we know is going to happen so we joke about it We've got a couple moses up on the, yep. the mountain <laughs> and in all honesty and seriousness and good ethics and communicating with mostly younger people it doesn't matter what age you could be younger but just started losing your hair meaning 46, just started losing your hair, no different than when I was 17. And for me to have this, you know, formula, for me to have this, this answer, for me to have this remedy, the holy grail, mm -hmm. it's amazing because I didn't have that when I was much younger even than Bobby when he mm -hmm. started losing his hair. So anyone out there that's wondering, obviously I'm very passionate about this. Um, we have done video after video after video about finasteride and finasteride itself. Mm -hmm. This has combination of also minoxidil in that medication so it's a, like a bit, double bang for your buck it's a double whammy if you want to call it that on a good side 
Um, the one thing I will tell you, which is what I told Bobby, mm -hmm. what I'm going to tell you, and I'll say it in video after video after video is, hey, give the pill a try. Get good photos of your hair in all angles. Do not go on the internet. <laughs> give it six to eight weeks and see what happens. Now, you're not going to see much change in your hair. You'll see less hair fall, less hair loss in the shower. But you're not going to see your hair change too much. But when it comes down to stupid side effects, that's where you're going to know that you can tolerate it. If your Bobby's age in his now early 30s was in his late 20s, you have like less than a half a percent chance that you can possibly have a slight drop in your libido. At 29 years old and you have a slight drop in libido, you're not going to know anyway. Or you could have a little less ejaculate fluid, not less sperm. Then you have the option. If you were to suffer from any of those type of side effects, you can get off the medication. And in this industry, of which I'm a part of, 265 full-time hair doctors worldwide that use this medication as their number one tool to help the patients like Bobby keep their hair and make them happy with their hair transplants. There has never been a documented case where someone has gone on the medicine, gone off the medicine with the side effect, and then it didn't turn around and go back to normal. That has never happened. Now, you might be watching this video and say, that's not true, Steve, because I saw where it did and it's on the internet and it looks pretty darn compelling to me. As far as I'm concerned, that's not true. They're on there to scare you. These, you know, anecdotal stories and all this stuff on different blogs and stuff like that. We're not seeing this industry. If we did one more time, I will say this, our revenue would go up because we wouldn't want to deal with people suffering from any kind of side effect, never mind a sexual side effect. <laughs> so I hope this helps and it helps put your mind at ease. Um, I also don't force anybody to take the medication mm -hmm. and that's what we had talked yep. about. I'm not a preacher, might be Moses, but not a preacher. <laughs> and I just want you guys and girls, and we have a different combination medication for those girls, those females in childbearing years. But anyway, I just want you to stop losing your hair. That's what I do. Don't forget to like and subscribe.